Today I want to talk to you about perfecting your driver lead flow. All right, so let's hop right into it and tell you what it looks like ideally and realistically what typically happens and then what you can do to fix your driver applicants as they come through your process. So usually it starts off with some kind of ad, right? This is an ad. You may be doing this on Craigslist, Indeed, etc. Some kind of ad. I would highly suggest getting away from Craigslist and Indeed and all that. That's for a different video, but in the end it starts with an ad. From the ad, what you want to have happen is the drivers go to some kind of landing page, right? That landing page is essentially a simplified website designed like a funnel to funnel the driver down to application. And it does not need to be filled with, you know, homepage, about us, history, etc. Again, it's a one page website designed like a funnel and created to get those results, which is, of course, more applicants coming through. So, add landing page, driver reads about the position, he winds up applying, right, he submits an app, and then you guys qualify, of course, and then you hire. Now, this is the perfect sequence. If you are having this happen every time, like clockwork, congrats, you beat the driver shortage. Realistically, though, this does not happen very often. And unfortunately, this is what most companies do. Heck, most companies don't even have the landing page to begin with. They just go from ad to application to hire, cross their fingers and hope it works out, and then they wonder why they had empty trucks, right? So this is what you want to have happen. Now, here's what usually happens. Driver sees the ad. He probably goes to your website, which is a problem. You want to send them to a landing page. Let's say you already have a landing page set up, though. Well, there's a 50-50 chance if the driver actually applies or not. Not because he's not interested in your company, but because he or she is busy. Drivers are busy. They're on the road driving, uh, you know, calling dispatchers, helping with constant needs, etc. They are busy. They do not always apply right now. They put it on the back burner and say, yes, I'll do this later. Typically, they forget, though. So, what you have happen often is that they hit the landing page or your website, but then they do not apply, right? So no application. And unfortunately, there's not much you can do about this, or so you thought. There is some great things you can do. And this is where we recommend serving them what's called a retargeting ad, right? That retargeting ad is derived from having a pixel installed on your landing page, right? So when you have this little pixel code on your landing page, you are now tracking those drivers, okay? And when you can track a driver and know what he's done and not done, you have a lot of data at your disposal. With that tracking pixel, you know that he did not apply, so now you can serve him retargeting ads to get that driver interested in your company again. Because if a driver went to your landing page, expressed interest, was looking around, but for whatever reason did not apply, they probably just need to be pushed a few more times of seeing your company again and again until they convert to application. It does this, you know, it's the same thing with any big brands. McDonald's, Coca-Cola, they spend so much money on advertising, not because they need more sales, but because you become familiar with the brand. When you see McDonald's on the TV, on radio, on billboards, everywhere you look it's McDonald's and Coca-Cola, well guess what happens? Next time you drive past McDonald's or go through that a uh, convenience store, you're going to pick up a Coca-Cola maybe, or be more likely to go through the drive-thru and get your Big Mac. So it's the same thing with drivers. They need to be warmed up and see your company again and again, and that's where the power of the retargeting ads come in, and this is something not many trucking companies know about. So now that you understand the gist of that, well, what does it look like and how, do you, how does it work? You go out and you feed retargeting ads only to those individuals that did not apply. Why is that? Well, they showed initial interest. They may be interested still, they just need to be warmed up more. And there's no reason to go out and feed retargeting ads to people that already applied, or that were already hired. That's a waste of ad spend. So here's what happens next, this is pretty cool. So you have the retargeting ads. This ad is no longer a cold ad, where it's the first time of them hearing about you. This is a warmer ad designed to get them to come back. So you create the retargeting ads, and these retargeting ads flow right back to the application, okay? This is pretty cool. So now, cold ad, landing page, if there's no application, not a big deal, we have that pixel installed. 
So we're going to go out and feed them retargeting ads. When they see the retargeting ads, they get warmed up. Eventually, they now go back to application for your team to qualify and hire, okay? So that is what perfecting the lead flow looks like from a driver uh, standpoint. If you found this short video valuable, if you'd like to learn more, here's what I'd like you to do. Feel free to book a time with me directly. We can go over your current processes, look at what you're struggling with, what you need help with, and see if we have a solution in place for you, okay? So it's a, it's a no-cost consultation. I'd be happy to talk with you directly, look at your current situation, look at where you're trying to get to, and see what solutions we have to help you out, okay? So that being said, happy hiring and have a good day.